welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be for GIMP 2.8 and uh, most recently I had a request uh, to do some texture tutorials uh, for GIMP and uh, that particular request was for some old metal textures and also some paper textures and so I thought I'd start with a uh, paper texture we're gonna do an old grungy uh, paper texture uh, like might be used um, for creating a texture for an old uh, pirate map or something let's uh, let me show you uh, an example of one that uh, I have created uh, let's see here if I can remember where it is and it would be right here um, I created this uh, paper and then I thought I would give you an example of what you might use it for uh, something like uh, uh, an old uh, pirate map or something but anyway let's go ahead and uh, start creating our uh, paper texture uh, doesn't really uh, matter what size if you're using uh, this texture for uh, a UV map for 3D modeling uh, then you'll be able to determine the size of your uh, uh, texture by the size of your UV map if you're not uh, it really doesn't matter just whatever size you need let's just go ahead and uh, do a 1000 by 1000 and uh, it can be a uh, transparent and let's just choose a color uh, some sort of reddish brown color we'll go to our fill tool and just go ahead and fill that layer in <clears throat> and then I'm going to go right over here and uh, you have a little roll of icons here and uh, it would be the one let's see from from right to left will be the third one and we're gonna duplicate that layer and then we'll go to filters and render clouds and plasma and this is another one of those settings you can uh, play with and we will set the turbulence uh, let's see to uh, 0.8 or so and then uh, let's go to colors and let's desaturate that and I usually prefer uh, the luminosity uh, setting click OK and then under the mode uh, let's set that to overlay okay now we can if you want to we can go up here and uh, go to levels and kinda adjust that a bit and let's go something like this actually uh, I think this paper texture should have a little bit more yellow look but uh, we're just gonna leave it like this for now <clears throat> something I also like to do um, when I'm working in GIMP is you can see this yellow and black dotted line around our layer here let's go ahead and turn that off and you do that by going to view and uncheck uh, show layer boundary okay uh, now let's go ahead and create a new layer and we want that to be a white uh, layer fill type 
and then let's go to our brush tool <coughs> pardon me you may want to go and uh, download some 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 uh, stains or grungy texture uh, brushes for GIMP uh, there are lots of them across the internet just go to Google and uh, do a search and I've got one in particular I am looking for and it's this one right here and I'm gonna uh, go up here under size and I'm gonna crank this brush size up pretty good to about the size of our um, of our layer here crank it up a little bit more a little bit more there that'll work and I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, now let's see let's darken that up just a little bit and I'm just gonna click here somewhere and that's not where I want I want to put it about here okay that'll work and then I'm gonna go up here to colors and then I'm gonna scroll down to color to alpha click on that and uh, in this little box here where it says from and then to alpha make sure that color is white and what that'll do is remove all the white uh, color from this layer click OK and there we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, grungy look and instead of normal mode let's set that to overlay and then you can go here and you can adjust the brightness and contrast say okay uh, let's let's turn that brightness down just a little bit make it a little bit darker okay that looks pretty good we're starting to get a little bit of a grungy grungy look here um, let's add some more grunginess to this I've created a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create another layer and uh, we're gonna do white again and we're gonna change our brush here and we'll just let's see pick something kinda uh, I'm using a I believe this is a brush that comes with blender I mean uh, pardon me I've been doing working in blender I didn't mean to say blender I mean gimp and uh, let's kind of go ahead and kind of brush it down a little bit there and then we'll turn uh, switch to the uh, eraser tool with the same brush selected and we'll turn down our opacity and then we'll just begin to erase that layer just just a little bit and then let's go back to our uh, colors and then colors to alpha and remember that uh, this color here should be white and then we'll click OK and that gives us a little bit more grunginess let's go ahead and uh, merge all these layers and let's uh, merge visible layers and say OK and we could just leave it like that uh, but we're not going to I'm going to do a few things first uh, we're going to go adjust our levels again kind of play with those a little bit just adjust those to levels to kind of wherever you want to <clears throat> let's go ahead and create another layer now you don't have to uh, do it this way uh, you can just kind of use some of these techniques I'm showing you and uh, 
come up with your own texture. Uh, let's uh, choose a brush that would be real good for a stain. And I think this will be good for a stain. And let's just bring it up here to maybe this corner. And then let's go back to our eraser tool and let's scale our brush size down so it kind of fits inside there just click on it a few times and now go back to colors and colors to alpha oh that didn't work let's go ahead and delete this layer and let's just put it right on top here and let's make sure that you have your brush tool selected and then we'll switch to the eraser tool and make sure your opacity is down Oop. now I think what we need to do is go ahead and duplicate this Oops, not delete. We need to duplicate that layer. And then let's uh, use a brush tool on that layer. And then switch to our eraser tool. Scale that brush down just a little bit until it fits inside there. And just kind of go around the center here. And what that does is kind of. Uh, kind of erases the middle part very lightly and then we can go to uh, colors and let's adjust the levels on that there that kind of gives us a stain we can merge that down and then go back and adjust uh, our levels again to give us that dark color and our stain showed up a little bit better and let's try something else let's go to uh, let's see what is it uh, you can go to decor and you do have a coffee stain uh, uh, filter there but that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for uh, Clothify, I believe it is. And you can tinker with the settings there. And just let it run. And that will give you kind of a... No, Clothify, I don't think is what I was wanting. Uh, there is a filter somewhere. I cannot remember where it is. That kind of gives us an... Uh, Maybe it's under Gimp Pressionist. Let's see, choose paper. Nope, that is not it. Okay, you can always just go uh, apply canvas, maybe. Yeah, that's it. And uh, apply canvas, and then turn your depth down quite a bit maybe maybe to one and I don't know how well you can see that and you may actually want to uh, instead of applying it to that you may want to duplicate that layer and then apply canvas kinda gives it a uh, an old very old parchment paper feel and then you can and maybe uh, slightly blur that just just a little yeah there we go uh, but that's that's about it uh, let's go ahead and uh, merge those those layers down or merge that layer down and 
and go in here under curves this time and kind of make some adjustments here. And you can always go back in here and uh, um, use these techniques and use some different brushes and and everything. And let's just kind of go with that. And then uh, I want to go to my burn tool here. I'm just going to select some brush and I kind of want to burn the edges as a kind of give this a paper uh, uh, a burnt kind of edge. Uh, anyway, choose the burn tool and then make sure you go down here under the options and, and select burn. And uh, you may want to uh, turn the opacity down a bit and just kind of work on these edges here to kind of give it a burn these edges slightly. Like I say, this is uh, just kind of be creative um, and uh, kind of use these techniques to come up with uh, your own texture. Well, it, it ended up being too red. Um, so I'm going to go back here under. Uh, colors again and and uh, kind of crank uh, this middle down just a little bit there anyway that's kind of an old gnarly uh, paper texture you could uh, not go as far with it as I did um, but this gives you some uh, techniques kind of uh, Kind of how I did uh, that other picture. We'll go ahead and open that right quick, and uh, so you can have a look at it. Just kind of cancel. Let's just zoom in here, and you can kind of see what I did here. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and show you how I kind of put this map texture on here. Uh, I went and downloaded, uh, just Googled uh, pirate maps on uh, Google. And I uh, remember the copyright or uh, EULA on any textures or, or images that you download. And make sure you abide by those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open one of those. Uh, I believe I put that in... Uh, documents folder and I think I just put it under textures and uh, it's a map yep and uh, what I did is I uh, just went uh, select all and copy and then click on your paper texture there and then uh, paste as new layer and then we'll just go in here and scale that so it fits and then say scale and then I went to colors and color to alpha and make sure that that is uh, set to white and that kind of gives you an overlay and then I chose uh, my eraser tool and I chose a fuzzy brush and I kind of went in here and uh, let's turn the opacity up a little bit and just kind of kind of erase some of it just kind of work my way around these edges here let's turn that opacity up some more Erase the edges. Uh, you may not want to erase them all. And then maybe change that layer to uh, an overlay. Or now that's too light, isn't it? 
uh, maybe a dissolve and turn the opacity down on that layer. No, that didn't look too good. Uh, lighten only. Anyway, choose a layer mode, and that's kind of how I, how I did that. And you can always, uh, like I say, always go mess with uh, your levels and uh, adjust those. I guess that's not going to work. Uh, maybe brightness and, and contrast. Yeah. Turn down the contrast a bit there. So anyway, uh, I hope uh, this helps you out. And uh, please be sure to subscribe. And I do have uh, some maybe some metal texture tutorials planned for GIMP. So subscribe and make sure you like this video. Have a great day.